Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> oh Jesus, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Bless His holy name. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Who is like unto our God? Who is like unto our God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to our King. Lord, you are great and you are almighty. All honor, all praise belongs to you, our King. Hallelujah. Lord, I bless your name, I praise your name, I honor your name this morning. I declare your majesty, I declare that you are awesome in this place. You are worthy of all praise. To you, our lives we raise. You are awesome in this place, almighty God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, Holy One of Israel. Bless your holy name. You are God, you are good, you are great, you are greatly to be praised. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pay homage to you this morning and we bow at your feet because your love is sweet. We bow at your feet, hallelujah, because only you makes us complete. Great and faithful is the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We bless your name, we praise your name, we honor your name. You are awesome, O oh God. You are awesome, O oh Lord. Oh, Father, good morning, Holy Spirit of God, and welcome. Welcome into our presence, welcome into our day. Take dominion, take full control, all of you and none of us. Minister, minister to us this morning, today, this afternoon, tonight, whatever the time zone right now, Lord. Holy Spirit, minister to your people in a way that is uncommon. Minister to us like you ministered to Elisha when you gave him the double portion anointing. Minister to us in double portion today, right now, right at this moment, O oh God. Whatever time or season, some are experiencing snow, some are experiencing extreme heat, some are extreme experiencing a, a mixture of heat and, and cold, cold. But wherever we are and whatever season we are in, O oh God, we ask that you will minister to us this morning. Minister to us now. Minister to us. At the sound of my voice, I pray in the mighty name, in the matchless name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that an impartation of the ministry of strength, the ministry for strength, the ministry by strength, an impartation, O oh God Almighty, that we will hallelujah be, be 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 strong in you mighty through you to the pulling down of every stronghold oh god cause us to be oh father god ready for the task at hand ready for the work of the kingdom ready to go to be and to do for your good pleasure lord minister to us this day this moment by the spirit of wisdom and understanding that we might walk in the fullness of wisdom and understanding by the spirit of counsel and might that we too might be full of your mind with the spirit of counsel and might that our god by the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the lord that we too might walk in the fullness of knowledge and the fear of the lord father let the fruit of the spirit be manifested in us each of us O oh god almighty impart an uncommon revelation of the fruit of the spirit that the gifts of the spirit may flow from us like rivers of living water Hallelujah. Lord, heal us and we will be healed. Heal us, O God. Our oh, Father, as your people hear my voice this morning, I pray in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth that my faith extends in a powerful way to each person hearing me, each person hearing me live and each person hearing me delayed later. God, I pray that healing will come through these platforms and hit the life, hit the soul, hit the mind, hit the will, hit the emotion of every person hearing me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak healing right now to your body, soul, and spirit, your mind, will, and emotion. I speak healing to everything that is broken, that is missing in your life right now. Our lives are on the altar right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Lord, we place our lives on the altar. The living sacrifice is on the altar of this fourth watch hour, the altar of this family, the altar of our people that are committed to you, dedicated to you, oh God, and our people uh, that are saying, Lord, we desire to be faithful. Let our faithfulness be, oh God Almighty, the altar on which we come to you today, come to you as a living sacrifice. And we say, Lord, purge, cleanse, purify, cancel, cramp and paralyze any assignment of the enemy against our health against our joints and marrow our soul and spirit our bloodstream our bloodline in the name of jesus christ uproot O god father search us with your eyes that can pierce through every joint and marrow through every soul and spirit search us O god see if there be any wicked ways in us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness lord we repent for every known and every unknown sin that we have committed against you hallelujah we, we, we repent oh god almighty of any unforgiveness that still uh, lingers even in a minute way inside of our inside of our minds our subconscious we we repent for any unforgiveness for things that our children or our spouse or our friends or our family members may have done our parents in the long past father we place ourselves squarely on the bed hallelujah for surgery this morning father perform surgery on our lives search our very dna oh god to see if there is anything in us that is not of you that is not of you anything in us oh god that will prevent us from being written in the lamb's book of life anything that is in us that will slow us down from getting to the fulfillment of purpose anything that is in us oh god that is causing us to walk in failure in poverty lack and insufficiency in sickness and disease lord we surrender every element and aspect every facet of our existence to you this morning and we say lord search us search us search us because a curse without a cause cannot stand that's what your words say and there are some of us god in this family that are still sick there's a curse upon us because sickness is a curse sickness is not our god of, of you sickness was not meant for your people you said healing is the children's bread that means we're supposed to eat of the bread of healing you said even further on now well through jesus christ of nazareth that by your stripes lord jesus we are healed by your wounds hallelujah by what you took from us you took uh, upon yourself that we might be heal that we might have life and life more abundantly and so lord jesus christ this morning i lift up this family before you and i say lord let the spirit of healing be in every household the spirit of deliverance be in every household in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth as paul said to, to timothy in in second timothy 2 hallelujah oh my son hallelujah hallelujah be strong be strong be strong be strong i say to you this morning be strong in the lord and in the power of his might i release the might of god into every household every car every office everyone who is hearing me right now live and everyone who is hearing me delayed i release the might and power the strength of the lord and i say stir up the gifts that have been given to you through the laying on of the hands of the lord jesus christ by the holy spirit i stir up your gifts this morning i stir up your gifts i stir up your gifts i stir up your gifts and i command every demonic force working against your gift to receive fire every demonic force working against your your, your purpose to receive fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I declare that every delay that you have experienced, they're delayed to your purpose, delayed to accomplishing what god desires for you to accomplish i release the fire of god against every delay in your life right now every delay in the mighty name of jesus christ be of root you spirit of delay be uprooted you spirit of delay you spirit of setback you spirit that have breached the walls breached the security per uh, perimeter i command you to receive fire we turn on the light on you this morning we sound the alarm on you today we sound the alarm and we say you are caught we release holy spirit dogs on you and we declare that you are found out and you must go you must go receive fire receive fire receive fire and everything that you have stolen from our lives in the past we declare that the word of god says when the thief is caught in the act 
hallelujah he must return what was stolen with interest and so we command hallelujah interest to be restored to us those of us who have been who were born in poverty when we should have been born in wealth we declare that the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just therefore you must return with interest our wealth in the name of jesus christ every member of this family must re receive a wealthy repatriation in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth i command satan i command the principalities and powers i command uh, uh, spiritual wickedness in high places I command every evil one and every evil thing every evil thing in the second heaven in the earth or under the sea I command a restoration of everything that has been stolen from us I pursue in the realm of the spirit this morning we pursue as a family we pursue as an army we pursue as God's warriors we pursue with the protection of angels we pursue by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ we pursue by the power of the Holy Spirit we overtake and we recover like David everything that was stolen from us uh, by the, um, the spirit of the Amalekite by the spirit of the Hittites by the spirit of the Jebusites by the spirit of the Philistines by the spirit of the Amalekites we pursue overtake and recover all today now right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of every pain that we have suffered every abuse every frustration every annoyance every lack hallelujah we pursue overtake and recover blessings we pursue and overtake life and life more abundantly we pursue and overtake headship hallelujah we pursue and overtake above and not beneath we pursue and overtake what God says is for us hallelujah in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pursue and overtake Isaiah 61. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In our lives, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the sovereign Lord, the spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon us. For he has anointed us to preach the gospel, the good news. Hallelujah. The good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so this morning, where we have failed to do what God called us to do uh, because of demonic interference, because of, because of demonic, hallelujah, contamination, we uproot and destroy by fire. And we declare that as of today, we are bold. We are more than conquerors. As of today, we walk in the fullness of overflow. As of today, we overtake and recover all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As of today, we are strong and mighty through God to the pulling down of everything that has blocked, delayed, derailed, or denied us from fulfilling purpose in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Everything that is blocking our children and our children's children from accomplishing the tasks for which they were born, we we tear them down by fire. Every Jericho wall set up against our children and against their future every jericho wall on the internet every jericho wall on tiktok and facebook and, and instagram and twitter and any other platform how youtube we tear down those jericho walls now and we declare that they shall not be a hindrance to our children's purpose they shall not be a hindrance to our children's understanding they shall not be a hindrance to our children coming to the to, to accept jesus christ as lord and savior every hindrance spirit set up as a wall every hindrance spirit set up as a prison set up to block and delay and derail and deny our children from coming into who god says they are we destroy them by fire we open those cell doors and tear off those chains today this morning right now in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth and we declare our children are free to soar soar like eagles soar hallelujah like wild horses soar like animals in the jungle that are free uninhibited by anything at all and any space any place anything that man or demons can do our children will not be submitted and subjected to that in the name of jesus christ we declare and decree that every satanic implant every satanic setup every satanic president uh, prime minister every satanic governmental system that has been established to, to to hold down and to destroy the works of jesus christ in the earth uh, every philistine spirit every pharisee spirit set up to curtail the work of jesus christ in and through our lives we set fire against them now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every person every place every constitution that is being fashioned to to oppress 
Christians and the Christian belief and the Christian way of living and the Christian systems. Hallelujah. Every, every, every system that says there is religious freedom for everyone else except Jesus and his people. We uproot that. We destroy that by fire. It is satanic and demonic and we declare that it shall not manifest. It shall not come to pass. It shall not keep us in, in the background in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We declare God Almighty that those who have set their hearts to, to, to fight against us as people of God, they shall look and not see us in the name of Jesus. We declare that the spirit of Jesus Christ, when they when they when they, they, they the detractors wanted to stone him for, for, for just demonstrating who he is in God, by God and for God. Hallelujah. And they wanted to stone him. Uh, the Bible says that he just walked through them and they couldn't see him. They couldn't touch him. They 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 they, they were looking but they couldn't know they didn't know who to stone. They couldn't push him off the cliff because they couldn't touch him. It was not yet his time. Father I thank you that as we we go out to evangelize as we go out to demonstrate as we go out to do instagram posts and to do uh, facebook lives and 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 tiktok lives and and youtube lives father i thank you that those who are who are, who are against you those who desire to stone you those who desire to shut down and to change and to delay and derail and deny us from declaring that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Lord. Father, may they not see us as they as your enemies could not see you until you allow them to see you. Father, may we stand boldly against the tyranny of those who seek to, to destroy what you are trying to do even for them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, may a spirit of boldness come upon each person that is hearing my voice right now. A spirit of boldness to declare that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Lord. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Lord. Yeshua the Hamashiach of Nazareth is Lord and God and Savior and Creator and King. And there is no God like unto Him. His name is above every name. At the sound of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every knee must bow and every tongue confess that he is Lord. He is Lord. He is Lord. He has risen from the dead and he is Lord. Every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Lord. Father, we bless you, we honor you, we adore you, we glorify you today. We declare that there is none like unto you. You are awesome in this place, almighty God. You are worthy of all praise, and to you our lives we raise. You are awesome in this place, almighty God. Father, strengthen us in this season for the enemy is coming like a flood. But I thank you that you have already raised up a standard against him. I thank you that he will come one way and flee seven ways. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. A thousand shall fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand, but it shall not come nigh us, for only with our eyes shall we behold and see the reward of the wicked. I declare that every wicked spirit that has come against your people, every spirit of lupus, every spirit of cataract, every spirit hallelujah, of, of, of pancreatic cancer, every spirit of lung cancer, kidney disease, every spirit of blood disease, oh God Almighty, blood contamination, every spirit of fibroid, every spirit, oh God Almighty, hallelujah, that, that affects our eyes, our ears, our sinuses, every spirit that affects our heart, every heart ar ar arrhythmia, arrhythmia, every brain attack oh god in our frontal lobe our cerebral cortex every attack against any element and aspect of our spine our nervous system sciatica uh deteriorating or degenerating uh, vertebrae we cancel we break we cancel we break we cancel we break everything that the enemy has sent against our bodies arthritis in our joints every joint pain i speak to you this morning and i uproot you by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every fatty liver, I command your liver to lose the fat in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command a, a flushing, a flushing, a flushing of every fatty liver, every contamination, every lead, every, 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 
every radiation, hallelujah, every lead and every radiation that is in our bodies, we declare Holy Spirit fire as an antitoxin, as an antitoxin, as a, a, a detox this morning. I declare Holy Ghost detox, Holy Ghost detox right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We declare that as we move into this new month of February, Father, we will move in uh, detoxed. We will move in with no hallelujah toxins in our bodies or in our spirit in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we cancel every assignment of the enemy against our our, our health against our strength against our purpose in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father we thank you that this month of january has been a great month for us a month of focus a month of purpose a month of accomplishment a month of establishing who we are in you by you and for you and so lord god almighty as we come into this second month we recognize that God the month is only hallelujah moving it's supposed to be 31 days but it seemed like 15 because it ends so fast but we know your word says that you will shorten the days for the elect's sake and so we don't have a long time to accomplish what needs to be accomplished in this season father give us the stick to the boldness the courage hallelujah the discipline to accomplish what needs to be accomplished because we have half the time to do what it is that usually would take and a different number of hours in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And so this morning, Father, we speak into the month of February and we declare that February is a blessed month. February is waiting to receive us. February has blessings awaiting us. February has peace awaiting us. February has portals that, 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 that bring forth angelic visitations. February has portals that cause you, O oh God Almighty, to visit us and to minister to us through divine visitation. February is the month when we will hear your your voice clearer than we have ever heard february is the month when we will be a ministering vessel to god to pour out upon your people in uncommon ways february is the month of boldness courage hallelujah february is the month when like jeremiah we are called to step up and to step out february is the month where like Zach, Jack, uh, joshua the high priest we're getting a new garment and a fresh mitre upon our head february is the month oh god when when the, with the moses that was blocking our ascension to the throne is now gone and we are now the ones like joshua who you have called to step up and to step out you have called to lead the people into the promised land you have called to wage war against our enemies and to destroy their foundations and to uproot every tear planted in our family in our marriages in our children's lives hallelujah in our community in our churches in our nation we uproot by fire every tear every wicked tear every tear of criminality every tear of corruption the month of february father we declare and decree that it shall be a good month a month where there are oh god 50 percent less accidents on the road 50 percent less crime and violence in the mighty name of jesus christ we reduce we reduce we reduce the enemy's stronghold over our nations in the mighty name of jesus christ we reduce by 50 percent everything that satan has opened and done even in january against our nation in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we declare hallelujah a 50 percent increase in that which is this destined for the children of god the good things that you are releasing oh god i declare a 50 percent increase of blessings to this family that we have here in the name of jesus christ 50 percent increase in health and strength 50 percent increase hallelujah in the blessings that make rich and add no sorrow i declare that every member of this family shall begin to see financial overflow in this month of february in the name of jesus we are money magnets we draw currencies from various nations i declare that we shall we shall be gifted with english pound with u.s dollars with euros uh, hallelujah with jamaican dollars those who are here in jamaica in the hundreds of millions we call forth hallelujah the impossible to be possible in the mighty name of jesus christ lord we do not know where such funds such wealth will come from but we know that you have wealth in heaven that is beyond our imagination and so god we call forth money because money have ears and money answer it all things you who made abraham rich you who made cyrus wealthy you who made hallelujah 
you who made Solomon wealthy is able to make us wealthy and so God we ask that you will fix our hearts even this morning cause our hearts to be humble cause us not to be like the rich man that is hard to enter the kingdom of heaven hallelujah like the, the the camel and the eye of the needle but cause our hearts to be set towards your purpose your will and your way and those who are not there yet god give them just the enough that they will get by that they will not struggle and think that you have forgotten them in this month of february we, we declare and decree that financial struggles shall not be our portion i speak to everyone who has a business and i declare the month of february shall be a good month for your business shall be an excellent month for your business I command your business to flourish in this month of February. I command customers, clients to to manifest for, for the glory of the Lord. I command angels to buy from your business in the name of Jesus Christ. I command customers to come from far and wide to your business in the name of Jesus Christ. I command your business to, to come out of the box or out of your mind and be started in this month of February. Those who have businesses, business ideas that they want to implement, I declare whatever resources you need, it shall come to you in this month of February. It shall be released in this month of February and your business shall not only launch but take off in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I declare that that job that you were looking for, that ideal job that you have wanted, that you have been applying for and have not gotten, I prophesy the month of February shall be your month of breakthrough, your month of open doors, your month when they shall call you and say, we've been trying to reach you. We need you for this job. We need you for this promotion. Come on, I speak promotion, elevation. I speak those of you women who are married and you have been trying to get pregnant and it has not happened. I speak for a to your womb this month I speak impregnation to you this month in the name of Jesus Christ with the natural baby and the spiritual baby of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ I declare that those of you who are who do only want to be pregnant by the Holy Spirit I declare an impartation of the spermatozoa of the Holy Ghost into your womb this day in the name of Jesus Christ I declare that you are pregnant with power you are pregnant with anointing you are pregnant with the spirit of wisdom and understanding you're, you're pregnant with the spirit of counsel and might you're pregnant with the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the lord you're pregnant with the fruit of the spirit that shall manifest and birth right now you're pregnant with the gifts of the spirit that shall manifest as needed wherever you go in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth i declare february is a month where the fruit and the gifts of the spirit shall be evident in and through your life in the mighty name of jesus christ Christ of Nazareth, I declare that February is the month of prophecy, that you shall prophesy accurately, not out of your soul, but by the leading of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. February is the month of encouragement. You shall be encouraged and you shall be an encourager in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare that the month of February shall see repairs to relationships that are broken repairs to marriages i declare february is the month of love the month of power the month of self-control in the mighty name of jesus christ i declare february is the month where there's a unity and a union february is the month where things that you've been desiring to see come to pass in your own life and in the life of your spouse and your children February shall see a shift. Everything that is blocking that we are, that which you desire to see in your marriage, in your spouse, I command it to go now. And in the month of February, you shall see a turnaround. You shall see a shift. For the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord. And so whatever it is that you have been desirous to see happen in your life, in your business, in your finance, in your children. I declare February the month to see favor, to see blessing, to see uncommon increase in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak right now, right now to your business, your business, your business in particular. The Lord said he gives seed to the sower and you are saying that if my business take off more, I am putting, I'm inputting so much into the business right now that I'm, I'm not able to do 
do for the kingdom what i what i what i want to do and how i want to do it when i declare that what you have put in shall be a seed a seed in your business and february you shall see uncommon increase i speak uncommon increase into your business now 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 i speak uncommon increase to your hands uh, as you labor in the name of jesus christ i speak uncommon uncommon blessing uncommon blessing from heaven in the name of jesus christ of nazareth as the lord has shortened the days for the elect's sake so i declare an increase proportionate hallelujah to that shortening of days and so what used to be produced in half a, in in a full day now will be produced in half a day with twice the pay in the name of jesus christ without delay and i say be blessed. Walk in blessing in this month of February. I send a word to the month of February and I say February. Every day of this month of February shall be blessing to this family. Blessing to our children and our children's children. Blessing to our jobs, to our businesses. Blessing to our mind, will and emotion. Blessing to every element and aspect of who we are. Blessing to our churches. Blessing to our communities. Blessing to our family members. Blessing to our nation. In the mighty name of jesus christ this month of february some laws that were passed are, are, will be repealed and reversed in the name of jesus christ i declare that this month of february coming up right now that the supreme court in all the nations of the world will begin to reverse unfair and on 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 unrighteous laws and and, and and decrees that have been set by satanic people in positions and power i declare a reversal a reversal a reversal a reversal they shall be deemed unconstitutional in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in these mighty powerful G7 G8 G20 countries that are passing laws against God against Christianity against Jesus Christ I declare this morning this morning this morning hallelujah that in February there shall be a shift you shall begin to hear news that the mainstream media will not want to carry but you shall begin to hear news hallelujah that a shift has taken place and things that they were forcing down our throat things that they were trying to force us to do and to accept and to be there shall be a reversal a pulling back hallelujah and a settling and a tempering of the aggressive move to distort and to destroy to delete and to dis uh, and to and to blow up that which god has set in motion for the nations of the world i declare and decree that february shall be a month of reversal of the curses that have been released over the nations of the world by Lucifer and his principalities in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. February shall be a month of exposure, 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 exposure. February shall be a month where God shall uproot some people, even in high offices, that are, are set, have set their heart to evil, that have set their heart to unrighteousness. There shall be an exposure and an uprooting. They shall be caught, called out and caught for the evil that they have been doing, not just the things, the laws that they've been passing, but where they have, their hands are dirty. I declare exposure. I declare bright light upon every criminal activity, every criminal, every element that is in governmental systems that are involved in corruption, involved in crime and violence, involved in in all manner of evil concupiscence they hey, hey, are, 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 are submitted and bowing to lobbyists that have their own agenda and not the agenda of the people I declare exposure video tapes and, and audio tapes shall, shall, shall surface of them making deals that are unsavory I declare angels will cause exposure 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 angels will record their conversations and play it publicly and they shall be ashamed and retire and, rep and, and resign. I declare mass resignations from various government officials, various pastors, leaders in all areas of life that are into evil and wickedness under the quiet. Hallelujah. Leaders are, are, that are involved in sex trafficking and, 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 and abusing our children and our women. Hallelujah. For their own pleasure. I declare exposure and deleting and uprooting resignations and firings in the name of Jesus Christ. Vote 
voting out when elections are called in the name of Jesus Christ. February shall be a month of exposure of all evil and wicked things that the people may know that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is still on the job. There are many people that are saying, God, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? They're crying out like the children of Israel in bondage in Egypt. People are crying out, are crying out, are crying out. This evil cannot continue. Hallelujah. Lord, we are saying to you, Jamaica is a nation whose God is the Lord. We still declare that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Lord, God, and King. We still declare that Jamaica is a Christian country, but the enemies of our, 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 our nation, the enemies of our atmosphere, the enemies of your kingdom, O God Almighty, have turned their sights upon this nation and are coming in and are talking sweet words like inclusion. They are paying for inclusion, but what do they want to include? Are they they trying to include Jesus or they're trying to include their own agenda that excludes Jesus father we declare exposure 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 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ February shall be a month of exposure all demonic agenda all satanic agendas shall be exposed in the name of Jesus Christ all deals that are being made in the back rooms behind the scenes out on the sea on the golf course God every deal that is being made that is not in the best interest of this nation our God deals that are being made by far by by, by bosses of our companies that are not in the best interest of the company and of the staff only the best interest of profit God Almighty we expose and reverse those deals now in the name of Jesus Christ every church God and every church leader that is only interested in their own benefit their own profit their own blessing their own houses and cars father exposure 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 in this month of February we tear down every immoral and wicked and illegal thing from our our pulpits from our members our parliamentary houses God Almighty from our businesses we tear down every wicked thing everywhere that gunmen and criminals and scammers are uh, God Almighty and even musicians artists God that are purporting and, and and spewing venom and wickedness and evil over the over the population of this country and the countries of the world father we shut their mouths in the name of Jesus Christ those who have sold out their souls to Lord Lucifer and want the people to worship them and to bring signs and curses and releasing demons on the people. Father, exposure, exposure, shut their mouths, oh God. Cause them to get on stage and be saying things that they shouldn't say and they just can't hear any word. Their mouths, their tongues cleave to the roof of their mouth. Lord, we do not want anyone to die for it is not your will that any should perish but all that come to repentance. And so we speak love by shutting their mouths. We speak love hallelujah by causing them to forget the lyrics that satan teach them oh god almighty some of these corrupt people god they will be on their way to make corrupt deals on their way to negotiate guns and drugs and they will forget where to go they will forget what they were gonna do forget what to say god they will turn against each other hallelujah like the armies that came against israel and they turned against each other and began to kill each other god almighty may they run to the place of their what they're think is safety like the Assyrian army hallelujah that encircled Israel father may confusion be the portion of every satanic plot scheme and trap every agenda that is not of you God Almighty every agenda that is designed to infiltrate and to destroy the very fabric of righteousness holiness and truth the very fabric of the family structure and the family a way that you have organized father we declare exposure and a reversal a reversal of everything that they have already accomplished lord back it up back it up back it up press rewind <laughs> we declare Holy Ghost rewind to every demonic agenda every satanic agenda that has infiltrated with their monies with their with their books that have infiltrated our schools and our children we press we press Jesus rewind we press Holy Ghost rewind and we say back up out of our schools back up out of our children in this month of February in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I declare deliverance to our children deliverance to our teachers father principal 
hallelujah principals in schools that are facilitating demonic agendas upon our children who are imparting themselves and their 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 their, their secret society spirits into the teachers who are blackmailing teachers to have intercourse with them teacher oh god almighty who are blackmailing teachers to steal and 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 and, and, and all manner of unsavory activities in the school system that is passing down evil spirits to our children father we expose and reveal and uproot them from the school system in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth every unsavory principle every demonic principle we command you to retire or resign in this month of February in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth father uproot uproot everything that is unrighteous in our school system and cause a shift to take place replace them with righteous heart and love loving kind teachers in the name of Jesus Jesus Christ Lord if you have to go back for some that have early retirement our God because of the evil that they are seeing in the system replace the evil ones with the good ones oh God bring back some from retirement that they may come and set a foundation for our children to know right from wrong righteousness from unholiness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Lord, those evil bosses that the people of God have been crying about, God, they are crying and saying, God, why are these people in charge when they are so evil? Some of us, oh God Almighty, are in those boardrooms and we are hearing the venom, we are hearing the immoral, illegal things. God Almighty, and we are saying, when will God step in? God, look at the SSL saga for years and years. Wickedness, evil, dishonesty, we're, 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 we're being purported, we're being seen we're being identified and no one did anything until it came crashing down father we declare today that february shall be the month when once we discover once you identify that evil has started in a company or evil is happening in a company we declare a reversal we declare an uprooting we declare even a shutting down and a restarting with righteous decree in the name of jesus christ lord let your hand of power be upon every element and facet of our society every fiber of our being in this month of february in the name of jesus christ this is the year lord when by your spirit we are being bold to declare in the in a still a steady way hallelujah that which we need to see done father we uproot from the main source of the execution of justice in the various nations across the world the police and soldiers father we speak to their hearts even now we speak to every racist, every every discrimination spirit operating in the army and in the in, in the police forces across the entire world and we uproot that spirit now we uproot every discrimination spirit every profiling spirit every 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 murder some spirit every 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 corruption spirit that wants to take cash or wants to steal things from persons in, when you are designed and you have been uh, uh, recruited and trained and paid to, to uphold the law of the land but you are breaking the law of the land father we uproot them we uproot them we declare mass resignations mass exposure in the various police forces across the world including jamaica in the mighty name of jesus christ every person that is in the police force that are on unsavory that are working for lucifer that are seeking after their own self-worth and self-growth through corrupt practices and immoral activities father we declare exposure in this month of february and mass resignations yes lord we declare hallelujah that states in america uh, parishes in jamaica hallelujah shall need brand new recruits in the name of jesus christ every country that is represented colombia mexico venezuela all the nations of africa we declare exposure to those immoral and illegal and corrupt politicians and police and soldiers in the name of jesus christ february god they shall not they shall want to see the back of february quick 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 because many shall be out of position in the name of Jesus uproot O God God who showed Pharaoh 
who is God. God who made Moses as a God to Pharaoh. God who uprooted many kings in First and Second Kings and First and Second Samuel. Lord, you are the same God. We're not asking you to kill them because now you don't do that. Hallelujah. In the same way that you used to in the Old Testament. Now Jesus Christ's blood was shed for them as well. But God, don't let them feel that their corrupt practices, their evil, commanding other people to just die, to be put in jail, to do, to, to lose their homes and their cars and all kinds of things and they think that they will get away with it because you don't judge in the same way like you did in the Old Testament. Father, we call upon you for justice for the exposed, justice for the... Uh, for the weak, justice for the poor, justice for those who don't have a voice, those who don't have wealth in order to defend, for, to defend them. God, we declare that you are our help. You are our present help in times of trouble. We look to you today in this month of February, O oh God, and we declare that we are radiant and our faces will not be covered with shame. And so we speak exposure as the order of the day in the month of February. Exposure for every evil way and every evil thing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Presidents and prime ministers will resign in shame because their hands are dirty with the blood and the money and the power and the wickedness of the Luciferian agenda. Lord, cause them to resign unceremoniously and leave in the name of Jesus Christ. May the spirit of salvation permeate the atmosphere of our nations May politicians and police and soldiers, hallelujah, and even some pastors repent and become saved. Yes, hallelujah. Can you believe a pastor that is not saved? There are many persons, hallelujah, that are in the pulpit that didn't come up through the ranks of the proper way of salvation. So they are preaching only because they went to Bible school. They are preaching only because of the denomination that they are in. Some are preaching and teaching because their parents were the host, uh, the conveners of the church. And they were just, they matriculated through blood. And not through the blood of Jesus, but through the blood of their fathers and or mothers or, or both i declare that there is a writing of every wrong hallelujah that has established in the church in this season in the name of jesus christ god you are legitimate and authentic men and women of god called by you like you called the apostles called by you like you trained up the disciples lord god almighty in this season those that you have sent out are the only ones that will go and those who you didn't send shall be uprooted exposed and uprooted from the pulpit in this season in the name of jesus christ God, those that are preaching that should not be preaching, may their tongues cleave to the roof of their mouths. May they begin to have massive headaches that they can't preach. They have to go sit down and let those who they've been holding down, but you've been trying to elevate, let them come and take possession and take position in the name of Jesus. For how can people know without a preacher? And how can one preach unless they are sent? That's what your word says. And so God, let only those who you have sent take a center the throne of the pulpit, ascend to the position of, of, of leader, ascend to the apostolic office, ascend to the prophetic office, ascend to the office of teacher, the office of pastor, shepherd, ascend to the office of evangelist. Father, those who are holding the positions under satanic rule, under satanic agenda, Father, uproot them and give the space to who you have prepared the space for in this month of February. In the name of Jesus, we are sick and tired of demonic words coming forward under the guise that it is preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. We're tired, O oh God Almighty, of persons being misled, persons being, being abused and used in the kingdom of God when it should be persons being reconciled and loved and nurtured and healed and delivered and set free and made whole. Father, the satanic agenda is too prevalent in the, mini in the ministry of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so, Father, we ask that your hand, your righteous right hand, will Will realign the church, realign the kingdom citizens, realign the kingdom agenda, realign the kingdom government in the name of Jesus Christ and cause a shift. God Almighty, those who are legitimate and authentic men and women of God, 
but have sought to move to the left or to the right in order to win people. Ah, God Almighty, some persons have said that the Holy Spirit is not enough to win the youth, to win men, to win uh, children to the kingdom, and so they are doing all kinds of unsavory, unholy, unrighteous things, having pools put up in church and all kinds of things to, to, to make it like a like a circus, like a fashion show, like 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 things that of the world using methods of the world to try and win the loss when the only thing that wins the loss is the sacrifice made at Calvary. The only thing that wins the loss is the Holy Spirit that lives in us and moves in the earth to draw men unto you, Lord Jesus. The only thing that wins the loss is the sacrifice of your death, burial, and resurrection. Not gimmicks, not, not, not uh, uh, different videos, not different things that they want to do. God, it is your blood, your blood, God, your blood, your blood, your blood that wins, your blood that gives us strength, your blood that washes and cleanses and redeems. And so, Lord Jesus Christ, where your blood is being sidelined for other gimmicks and other things by people who have been brainwashed by advisors instead of the advice of the Holy Spirit. Father, reverse that curse in this month of February and cause them to only to listen to your Holy Spirit in this season in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that this season is the season of peace, the season of blessing. This February is a season where Christians, legitimate Christians, who are excited about serving you will begin to see your hand move through the various nations, through the various churches, through the various uh, opportunities. Oh God, we will see that you have not forsaken us, that you stand with us, Hallelujah. And it is not just a figment of our imagination that you will never leave us or forsake us, but that truly the proof will manifest in this February month. Exposure, revealing, resignations, uprooting, cancelling, changing of the guard, promotion. Oh, God Almighty, cause a shift to take place. We know that evil will always be present around just like the poor will be with us always. And we're not saying remove every evil person, every evil leader, every evil thing and replace with righteousness. That's your ultimate decision. But we're saying, God, hallelujah, cause a reversal, cause a shift, cause the body of Christ to be encouraged, the authentic, legitimate body of Christ to be encouraged, oh God, that we can go out in America in a t-shirt that says Jesus Christ is Lord and not be harassed and not be, 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 be threatened and not be denied oh, the, the constitutional right for religious freedom. Lord, cause one to be able to stand up on the sidewalk in England and say Jesus Christ is Lord, repent. For the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent, for the coming of the Lord is near. And not be arrested for speech that is not hateful. For speech that is designed to redeem the souls of men. Father, expose Satan for the way he has infiltrated the various government systems and policies. The various police forces across the world. Expose him. Expose him, O oh God and cause some righteous officers, righteous soldiers, righteous politicians to arise among the wicked and begin to cramp and paralyze, begin to speak from the authority of the spirit and to subdue the evil for the sake of the good. Let this month of February be the month of victory for your glory and for your name's sake. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Come on, give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. February, the month of exposure. We are believing God. Come on. We want to pay keen attention. We're going to watch. Hallelujah. Um, I'm not sure if February has 28 or 29 days this year, but I know right now that we are believing God, that what we have prayed, we will hear and see and experience and encounter. Hallelujah. Mass move of the Spirit of God to expose and to uproot and to change the guards. Hallelujah. That have been working for Lucifer in all the various spaces from the church at 28. Thank you, Kerry Ann. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. 
Uh, yes, hallelujah. Thank you guys. Wow. Hey, I'm telling you, you guys are so fast with your fingers. I love it. I'm excited. That level of excellence shall be, shall bring a reward from God. February shall be the month of the reward of the faithful of God. The faithful, all of you persons, all of you brothers and sisters on this Fourth Watch platform, in this Fourth Watch family, I declare February shall be your month of favor. February, God shall hide you in the spiritual cleft of the rock and shall cause an anointing to come upon you like never before, shall cause you to begin to see with clarity of eyes, shall cause you to walk in the fullness of God's goodness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I prophesy that February shall be the month when all that you have been doing with your hands shall begin to bring in. You've been giving out, giving out at your job, giving out in your home, giving out, giving out, and you have not seen any coming back into you. You've been saying, God, why does it seem like I am always the one having to do, having to give, having to sacrifice? I declare that the Spirit of the Lord shall sacrifice for you in this month of February. You shall receive, 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 receive. I declare February is your month of receiving. If you are hearing me right now on this platform, I am sorry for those who are still sleeping. I am sorry for those who have gone to do other things. I'm telling you, if you are hearing me now, if you are hearing me now, if you are hearing me now, February shall be the month when you shall be taking in, taking in. You've been giving out, giving out, giving out, giving out of yourself, giving out of your hands. You've been the one spending. You've been the one giving. You've been the one doing constantly and sometimes you feel downcast you feel like this is unfair you feel like you're burdened but i declare that this month of february you shall be pampered like a queen pampered like a king february is the month when you get to sit on the throne and you get to get minister to grapes and strawberries in your mouth apples and mangoes in your mouth in the name of jesus christ february is your month of pampering manicure and pedicure february is the in the month when you don't have to worry about your bills being paid february is the month of favor open heaven in the name of jesus christ your faithfulness has come up to the lord as an incense in his nostril and i declare that god shall supply your needs according to his riches in glory those of you have been given and given hallelujah of your time and of your treasure and of your talent and you're saying god i've been given hopeless who uh, are without any fear i've been given and given and i've not seen the returns february is your month of return february is your month of harvest in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah february is the month when god shall give to you hallelujah as you have been given hallelujah February is your month of favor in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. April 4 will make three years solid since we have been in this family, since we have been going. And there are some of you who have not missed a day. There are some of you who have been faithful for the entire three years. Hallelujah. If you're sick and you miss a day, you have been consistent throughout the day. The, 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 the number of days for the three years as we have tried to be consistent in the same way and I declare that February is the month when God will say because you have been faithful in your time of devotion because you have been faithful in giving and living and doing and being uh, for my good pleasure February is your month of reward February is when the world celebrates what we call Valentine's, the time of love, the time of intimacy, the time of coming together, the time when uh, couples show each other. Hallelujah. On that day, I think it's the 14th. I'm not a Valentine's person, so um, pardon me if I missed the day, if it's 13 or 14, but it's one of those days pretty close by. I, I'm, I'm into love every day. I'm into loving up on my wife every day. And if I had the resources, I would every day would be Valentine's Day for me. I don't wait on a, a special day, but, but, but that's what the world does. And so I, I'm not fighting against that. But I'm saying to you, 14, thank you, Sister Denise, hallelujah. I'm saying to you that this month, this month of February shall be Valentine's from heaven for us in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that Jesus Christ of Nazareth will show his outward ex expressed love to us for the faithfulness that you have shown 
for the time, the time, the devotional time, the sacrifice when you have gotten up and being disciplined to just pursue God, pursue God, pursue God over these three years. Hallelujah. I prophesy that the month of February shall be a month of harvest, harvest, harvest for your sacrifice, harvest for your planting, harvest for your seed. And those of you who have given not just your time, but your treasure to this ministry and to the to the to ensuring that Pastor Marsha and I have an opportunity to continue to be to be healthy and strong to keep a roof over our head those of you who have contributed towards that I declare February is your month of harvest exceedingly abundantly above all you could ask think or imagine I release it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth may your coffers expand beyond what you can manage may your bank accounts bulge the eyes of those who are looking in the bank in the name of Jesus Christ may your health hallelujah cause your doctor to wonder who are you uh, who, who, who did you get a, a, a name changer hallelujah may your may your may the love a hey god that you are are, are are giving to your family members to your spouse ah uh, shock and confuse your spouse because they're saying who is this person why are you so happy why are you so blessed why are you so loving why are you so kind why are you so sweet may february be the month when the love of god manifests in us and through us for the glory of the lord jesus christ of nazareth i call it so i declare it and i call it done by the blood and by the power and by the name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth amen and amen and amen look forward with anticipation and excitement hallelujah to what shall happen what shall be revealed because it's already happened what shall be revealed in this month of february in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah amen 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 hallelujah come on hallelujah we stand in hope come on glory to god glory to god we stand in hope that shift has taken place change has come in the name of jesus christ hallelujah no more loady bar no more barely getting by no more wondering what can we not do this month in order to do some other things that have come up we will be able to pay all our bills save go out and date with our with our spouse take our children out to ice cream do things that we have not been able to do hallelujah for the longest while putting off repairs to car yes hallelujah pastor marsha and i our car needs some repair hallelujah we had a minor accident and the front bumper is is, is damaged and it's been almost two weeks and we're trying to figure out what do we need to um, divert in order to get it fixed no more of that in this month of february we will be able to do what we need to do right when we need to do it in the name of jesus no lack i cancel the spirit of lack from your house in the name of jesus christ from your business i cancel the spirit of lack and i speak overflow overflow i cancel the spirit of just enough i cancel the spirit of get by i cancel the piranha spirit eating out your monies your revenues your paycheck through the back door and i release and inflow through the front door hallelujah in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah hallelujah when the brink truck comes either to the bank or to the business places they go through the front door i declare brink strokes shall come through the front door of your life in the month of february i command bring strokes bring strokes bring strokes bring strokes and they're not bringing any coins we don't want no coin leave the coin in the truck brings driver leave the coin in the truck brings brings man men hallelujah we don't want no fifty dollars we don't want no 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 small notes no twenties no tens no fives no ones we we declare hundred dollar bills fifty dollar bills only in the name of jesus christ if you're in the u.s hallelujah in jamaica five thousand dollar notes and thousand dollar notes if you're in jamaica in the name of jesus whatever your currency is in the country where you are only the big currencies and we want them in hundreds of millions in hundreds of million stocks up come on bring stroke bring them bring them bring them bring them bring stroke in the spirit angels of god angels of the most high god we declare this morning that you have been dispatched by the authority of the lord jesus christ to be bring 
truck driver bring truck drivers dispatch to every person that is on here this morning dispatch to their homes dispatch to their business dispatch to their workplaces and bring in those those bags and bags and bags and container loads hallelujah bring truck drive up hallelujah with billions and just give these family members the keys and say we can't offload what is on there for you so you take the key and the truck and drive home in the name of jesus christ february the month of overflow we speak it we believe it and we declare it done in jesus mighty name hallelujah hallelujah overflow 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 in the name of jesus christ receive it hallelujah overflow come on some of us overflow are gonna look different from others are you hearing me can i can i just teach you how to to, to not lose your blessing some of our overflows are going to look different my brother Layton has a company zander distributors if you're in the florida area hallelujah and you buy breadfruit from some of these various places, Presidente and, and some of these places, it's his breadfruit that you're buying, his pepper, glory to God. And so his blessing in February may look different from mine because he has a big business. Come on, glory to God. He may see uh, 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 the hand of God in a different way from me, but we must learn to appreciate, come on, where we are and the hand of God, how that looks in our lives. Come on, glory to God. Some persons, their blessing because of the, 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 the passageway, the pathway, the, the infrastructure that is there might be immediate millions and billions. Some of us might be hundreds of thousands. Some of us might be thousands because of the pathway that we're in. But we're believing God that no matter what pathway we're in, no matter what infrastructure has been set up for us, we will see overflow. Come on, in the name of Jesus Christ, we will move from Lodibar to eat at the King table regardless of what that looks like we are upgrade 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 in the name of Jesus Christ and hear me carefully I say this without fear or without stuttering those of you who have the infrastructure for uncommon uncommon overflow uncommon overflow please I am asking you by the Spirit of the Living God do not keep all of it for yourself there is a man in the Bible who God blessed with overflow and his bonds were already filled and when he looked out at the fields and saw more wheat than could hold in his barn he was excited he didn't say now I have more than enough to be a blessing to those in my neighbors who don't have those who are weak and hungry hallelujah he said i will tear down my barn and build a bigger barn to hold he wanted to keep all of god's blessing to himself i'm saying to you as god blesses you exceedingly abundantly above all you could ask think or imagine in this month of february hallelujah do not keep it all to yourself set your heart towards being a blessing to others look for the poor and the needy look for those who if you if you go to a church make sure you take some to your church hallelujah be a blessing to others who do not have the faith like you who have not invested or planted like you and are not receiving the same kind of harvest so into the lives of others out of the overflow that God has given to you because that's how you preserve what God has given to you and that's how you increase even more from the blessings of the Lord that make rich and add no sorrow so please if you want to get continued blessing from God you have to give share share God gives you an anointing to pray share that prayer anointing with people God gives you an anointing to lay hands on the sick go to the hospitals go where sick people are don't be frustrated and talk about locks because I can pray for the sick and they recover everybody's just no don't complain do it that's why God give it to you God gives you uncommon wealth your business is doing well and your profits are exceedingly above what you could ask think or imagine don't use all of it to go to, to, to Paris to have breakfast don't spend all of your time in Florida spend some of the what the resources in your community help some people help a, a homeless shelter help some people with, with like rescue package do something that shows God that he did a good job in blessing you amen hallelujah come on glory to god i got to tell you because some persons don't know and some persons when god 
put exceedingly abundantly above all they could ask think or imagine in their hands or in their bank accounts they forget the need to be a blessing to others i don't want that to happen to us as a family i don't honestly hallelujah hallelujah you always want to have god owing you you know sometimes when 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 we are blessed hallelujah so is the first time pastor Masha is gonna hear this now so so please y'all pray for me <laughs> but you know sometimes when god blesses us and um and we are able to pay our bills and take care of stuff um sometimes because I, I i i tithe as i as i am blessed and so um if someone sends so a blessing to me uh the first week of january or the first week of february i tithe out of that and sometimes i tithe ahead and so i'm tithing out of what i have not received yet and then when 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 the end of the month and i'm compiling and i look at my um what i receive um in total and what i tithe it's sometimes more and i'm like oh my goodness i need to retrieve that and the holy spirit says retrieve what retrieve what you always want god to be the one to owe you you don't want to owe god you don't want to owe God. You want God to owe you. So sometimes, hallelujah, when there is more than enough in your account with God, God will have to make it up and he will. So you want to be in a position. Yes, that's right. Retrieve what? <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. And so you always want to be the one that God owe. You don't want to owe God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. But that's just me. Um, you know, everybody can't be the same. And I don't want everybody. I wouldn't want to force or try to cajole everyone to be the same like me. But in whatever way, in time, in talent, in treasure, in resources, whatever way you can, invest in God's kingdom. Invest in God's will and purpose. Invest in doing what God would be happy with so that God is the one that always owes you. If God always owes you, he pays. Hallelujah. And he pays more than you could ask, think, or imagine. I am a living testimony. My family is a living testimony. Hallelujah. We live in a place, albeit not our own yet, that we never thought for a moment when we were living in the other place that we would be able to live here. Never thought it. Could not have imagined it. It's fair. But God says, because I owe you, I'm going to give you more than you can ask, think, or imagine. Amen? So we must try to put ourselves in a position where God owes us because we have more prayer in the bank than he has answered. More tithe and offering in the plate than what we that, that, than we, he was expecting us to give him. Come on. More love to him and to our neighbors than we were expected to give. Come on, hallelujah. We give to the poor more than we were expected to give so that God can always be the one that owes us and not we owe him. Hallelujah. Spend more time in the word than is required. God says we must meditate upon the word day and night. Meditate upon the word day, midday, and night. So you say, God, I owe, hey, I give you one extra, you owe me. Come on, glory to God. Amen. You want God to owe you. Challenge yourself to put God in a position where he has to try to catch up. Where God is trying to catch up with you. I know it sounds silly, it sounds human, it sounds, you know, but pastor, what are you talking about? God trying to catch That don't make no sense. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It's a hard position. It's not a practical manifestation. It's just having a life that says, I want God to always have more than enough from me. That when he's extending his hand, people will say, wow, what a fabulous God you serve. But they don't know what you sowed into the soil of his kingdom. Amen. See, my brother Leighton can testify. He has been given exceedingly abundantly above all he could ask think or imagine why because he continually sows into god's kingdom even when no one know even when he didn't have to even when hallelujah it was more than what he was required to and god has just expanded and enlarged him he will do the same for you let god owe you you don't owe god because though god has much more 
though God has much more than you, it is better for him to owe you than you to owe him. In Jesus' name. All right. Praise God. Amen. That's a, 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 a tip. What you call an investment tip. Come on. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God will never transfer your, your investment to someone else or, <laughs> or give it to anyone. God will always give you what is rightfully yours. Amen. So we're in 1 Corinthians chapter 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Hallelujah. Turn with me in your Bibles. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. You must be wondering, Pastor, we're not, we're not, we, we, we are, um, we move from that scripture. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And we've been laboring over this word for a little while, but God is faithful. God is encouraging us. Remember, January was the month of encouragement. And so it was just um, encouraging to, 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 to our spirit, to our soul, to our bodies, so that we can take on hallelujah this first month of work which is february coming up so february january is the first month of encouragement february is the first month of work because in that work we will see exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask think or imagine okay so first corinthians chapter 2 we stopped the last time from verse we stopped at verse um what's that why hmm. yeah i need to pray for me my eyes are getting blurry or the light is not as good as it um, it needs to be. Hallelujah. Need some some light. Oh, we stopped that chapter at, at verse four. So I'm just gonna read the first three verses, and then we're gonna pick up from verse four in the um, of the of the message. First Corinthians chapter two reads from verse one. When I came to you, brothers, so as I as I come to you now, brothers and sisters, I did not come with eloquence of superior wisdom. As I proclaim to you the testimony about God. For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. So Paul was making the case that, listen to the Corinthian church, when I came to you, I didn't come with, 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 with PhD in speech. I didn't come with a motivational agenda. I didn't come with words that will make you run around and, and, and get excited and, and, and tickle your soul. I came with power. I came to proclaim the testimony of what God has done and what God can do. He says, For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. That's where salvation is. That's why people in the world hate Jesus Christ so much. That's why the spirit of the Antichrist is even in some churches. Because Jesus Christ and him crucified is why we have life and life more abundantly. Is why we have access to the Lamb's book of life. Is why we have access to power, to the glory. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ and him crucified. Verse 3. I came to you in weakness. Or you could say meekness. Or you could say humility and fear. And I'm reading from the NIV version just in case I didn't say it and with much trembling so he came humbled he didn't come pompous he didn't come on a private jet though i have no issue with private jet i would love to fly on one one day i have no issue with private jet but paul was saying i didn't come on a donkey it's donkey that they use donkeys were their private jets back then he said i didn't come on a donkey i didn't come in in the most expensive italian suit come on hallelujah I didn't come with, 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 with an entourage of 50 people. I didn't come saying that you have to give me 50,000 US deposit and then you have to pay me 100,000 after I finish talking because I'm, I'm, I'm a hot commodity. I walk with miracles, signs and wonders. You have to pay all my expenses. You have to put me up in the finest hotel. He didn't come with any of those. He came weak and fear, not fearful, but in the fear of the Lord. He came weak because it is true God that he gained strength. And he came with trembling that if he didn't love and do what God desires for him to do for the people, that God could easily strike him down. And so Paul understood despite the call of God, the anointing of God on his life, that he didn't deserve to show off to walk in in shoes that everybody could be distracted by 
in jackets that everybody would be focusing on and not hearing the word of God. Come on, I'm not knocking people who are flamboyant, ministers of the gospel who are flamboyant and, 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 and wearing them nice things and all these things. I, it's not me, but I'm not bad mind. If they have the personality for that, go ahead. But I'm saying to you from the scriptures here, Paul was saying to us that, listen, let us try our best not to do or say or be anything that distracts from the glory of God. Come on. That's the point I'm making. Let us try our best not to go to that extreme where it becomes about us and the people who come in are saying, wow, him shirt pretty. Wow, look at his glasses. Wow, look at his shoes. My God. And you're talking words of life. You're ministering from the Holy Spirit legitimately and authentically, but the people are not hearing because they're distracted by your beautiful jacket and I'm not talking I'm not talking about a regular jacket that's just expensive I'm talking about a jacket that looks like Joseph coat of many colors and they're wondering they're distracted by the many colors you get what I'm saying right I don't need to um, go off on all of that I'm saying to you that Paul was saying it wasn't about any of that Jesus himself was the same way the Bible says when Jesus was walking with the crowd they couldn't distinguish him. The people who saw him on a regular basis, when they came, Judas had to go kiss him so they could know who he is because a lot of persons couldn't recognize him from the other disciples. He dressed the same way. You had to check the garment. The Bible says you had to check to see that the robe that he had on, though it looked like everybody else own, it was expensive. Come on. And so he wear good quality stuff but it didn't stand out to show off on anybody else. Oh, you're not hearing me. You can wear good quality stuff, expensive stuff, but it doesn't have to stand out to show off. It doesn't have to draw attention. And so Paul is saying that he came in weakness, which means understanding that whatever he has, it's God that gave it to him. Whatever power, whatever anointing, whatever strength, whatever physical ability he has, it is God who gave it to him. So he came in that knowledge saying, hey, I am weak, but my God is strong. He recognized what God was able to do to him, having been through the Damascus Road experience. So he always feared God. Pastor Marsha liked to say, them don't fear God. Because they've never had an encounter or an experience that made them realize the sovereignty of God, the seriousness of God. God as the judge, they only know him as God of the, as the lamb. They don't know him as God as the lion. So there is no fear of God. They do and say anything. But Paul is saying to us this morning in this scripture that we must always come in weakness, recognizing that Jesus Christ is our strength. We must always come in fear, recognizing that if we become pride and pump, proud and pomperous, that the, the, the fear of God is not in us. And if the fear of God is not in us, we will not be as submissive and obedient as we should be. We will become like Saul. Not Saul who became Paul, but King Saul who lost his throne and his head because he didn't fear the Lord as he should. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. And he said with much trembling, we must tremble at the very presence of God. We must tremble at the very name of God. Trembling there does not connote a fear as in how the dictionary describes fear, but of honor, of great honor, of understanding that he is the almighty God, the sovereign God, and he has made himself of no reputation to come down and be with us, to come and to visit us, to speak to us, to give us guidance and direction. God don't, don't need us. We need God. And so when we understand Understand that we need God and God is important to our existence every day. God woke us up this morning. If he said, and I don't care about you, we would just be gone off and our family members would be crying and saying, oh my God, he went to bed, she went to bed healthy and strong and didn't wake up. God is who has to make sure our eyes open. God makes sure that our bowel actions and everything inside of us work. We should be trembling at the very thought of a God who is sovereign coming down to minister to us and to care about us. And so Paul was making that case so that after thousands of years, people who are called to minister the gospel of Jesus Christ, people who are called to walk with God could understand that we must always be displaying weakness, fear, and trembling no matter how high God take us. As a matter of fact, the higher he takes us, is the more we should operate in weakness, in fear of him, and in trembling. 
at his might and power. Come on, verse 4. Glory to God. My message and my preaching were not with wise, persuasive words, but with a demonstration of the Spirit's power. And so what, what, what Paul was basically saying to us was a formula. He was giving us a formula, not an absolute formula, but a process through which we can access the Spirit's power. Come on, glory to God. There's some of us who fast and pray for the revelation of God's power to manifest through us. And there's some of us who, like before we were formed in our mother's womb, like Samuel, come on, like John the Baptist, come on, hallelujah, and like many others who I could name, that they were called to, to, to demonstrate God's power before they started fasting one day of fasting before they started one day of praying before they studied the Torah they had the power of the Holy Spirit at their access because God gave them that access early come on some of us have to have to just uh, be at the foot of the cross saying God here I am if you can use anyone use me here I am Lord use me here I am Lord use me and he's looking around like he's saying eh I, I, I have to use the ones that I chose before they were formed in their mother's womb first before I get to you. But he eventually will get to you. But no matter what God says or what God does and when he does it, we must always remember that our message must not be out of our wisdom, out of our Google search, out of our Siri um, calling, out of our GPS, out of our, our, our research for man, but out of the spirit of the living God. Amen. And so Paul was letting them know, I didn't come to you as no pompous Pharisee studied under Gamaliel. I came to you as one submitted to the Lordship of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Not with my eloquence that I learned in university, but with my submission that I learned from the Spirit of God. And by that submission, by, that, by the fruit of the Spirit, the power of the Spirit, manifested hallelujah so that's how in weakness in fear and in trembling and knowledge of the power of the holy spirit the manifestation of god's power and glory will come through us so that's something to note to highlight and to pray concerning father may the weakness of my body be a representation of my submission to you may the fear in my soul be a representation of my willingness to go where you send me to do what you say and may the trembling of my life be the representation of my honor in your presence in the name of the lord jesus christ that i might flow in the glow of your glory by your spirit wherever i go in jesus name amen you see a very prayer can come from that from, from those verses right there and if you pray that over your life and God cause it to be so, you will be known among men as a mighty warrior, a mighty and glorious carrier of the presence of God. Just by simply using these words over your own life and over mine. Amen. Verse 5. So, so that your faith might not rest on men's wisdom, but on God's power. So that your faith might not rest on man's wisdom, but on God's power. Now, this is very, this is a very ticklish and a very, um, what you call it now, <laughs> uh, special statement. Because so many persons have misunderstood and have gone off in one direction or another where, where, where this is concerned. Um, persons have begun to chase after power, chase after gift. The demonstration of gift. Um, the prophets are the most famous and the most rich among the kingdom of God because they, 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 they walk in a power, either the power of word of knowledge, word of wisdom, um, revelation knowledge, discernment, uh, and, and, and all these things. They, 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 they can say, thus saith the Lord. They can speak the things that God show them that other persons didn't know and they will come and, and they will say, people will say, but how could he know that God had to tell him? And they get all excited and, and, and so on. And we chase after the power. We chase after our word. We're constantly, last night I was listening to a man of God preaching and he was saying, why are God's people chasing after a word when the word that is the word in the Bible is chasing after us? 
the word of God, the, the, the Logos word of God is the foundation for every Rhema word. The Logos word of God is the foundation for every Rhema word. A Rhema word will not have the kind of impact that it is supposed to have on the soul, on the body, and on the spirit if the Logos word is not the foundation on which we stand. Let me say that again. Hear me carefully. Listen slowly. I'm going to speak slowly, so listen slowly. You could go and listen to Prophet Rovi, Apostle Selman, Dunson, whoever, all the, 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 the prophets that exist today, whether online or in person, local or international. If you hear a solid rhema word that hits your spirit and gets you excited for that moment, if the Logos word is not the foundation on which your life is built, that rhema word will take a long time to come to pass if it actually does. If it even does. God speaks in, in ways that is designed for things to come together. It's like starting a business. You first have to have a business plan. If you have money but no business plan, you will start a business and chances are it will fail. Chances are it will fail. And you'll keep throwing a lot of money at it because you have money but you have no wisdom. The word of God gives us the wisdom to utilize the resources. Come on that God gives us wisely. The word of God is like the business plan. And the business plan teaches you how to execute what money you have and what things you need to put in place to ensure that the business is sustainable. Come on, glory to God. And so without the word of God as the foundation, no matter what the prophet prophesy, oh, God says you're going to get married in this year. God says you're going to have great wealth in this year. God says you're going to do this and that and that and that in this year. And you get so excited that you start to diss people. You start to say, oh, you can't talk to me. God says I'm going to be married this year. You're going to stay an old maid. You're never going to be married because you are not faithful to God like me. You start get disrespectful. You become like Jezebel. You start acting ways because you're convinced that because God has already spoken it, it must come to pass because this prophet who spoke it is an accurate prophet. He always speaks and things come to pass. And so you begin to function outside of the foundation of the word and your word stays in the realm of the spirit and cannot come into manifestation for you. And then you become the laughing stock because you diss some people, you act like you're already, already a millionaire, you're disrespectful, you're proud, or you're fearful and doubting. And the word that God sent that would change your life, because there wasn't a foundation of the Logos word, you went out of line and your word got held up. Worse than how Daniel's got held up for 21 days. And we wonder, oh, so the, he, he was a false prophet. No, you didn't receive the word on top of the word. The rhema word comes down on your head. The logos word comes up through your feet. You must be standing on the word of God in the scriptures and allow it to permeate, to come up like a fragrance through your feet all the way up. And so the rhema word comes down because a rhema word can only come from heaven. The rhema word exists in the mouth of the existing God. It comes down onto your head. But the Logos word comes up because that's already given. It's already in the earth. And so it comes up to your feet. And when the Logos and the Rhema meets inside of us, right where the Spirit of God lives, in the center where the belt of truth is, when the Rhema and the Logos meet and they coexist, they, they, they come together. Mm. Ah. Mm. Power, 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 power. Power comes forth in the name of Jesus Christ. So don't just chase after the rhema. Make sure that is sufficient logos as a foundation that when the rhema comes, the logos and the rhema fits together to bring power in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to stop there for this morning and we pick up from verse 6. We pick up from verse 6. Let me just mark it. Hallelujah. We pick up from verse 6 tomorrow. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. 
Praise God. Praise God. I hope that you were blessed and encouraged this morning by the Spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord of my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Thank you so much for joining us. It's time for our communion. Hallelujah. Time for communion. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, we bless you. We honor you. We adore you. We thank you for this morning. We thank you for ministering to us and ministering through us. We thank you, Lord, that February, we are excited, looking forward to February, the month of blessing, the month of overflow, the month of peace, the month of joy, the month of exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask, think, or imagine in natural and spiritual blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we seal what has been spoken over our lives in the, for the month of February and even for today with this body and blood representation sanctify and consecrate them even now that they may truly represent health and strength prosperity and good success life and life more abundantly in jesus name amen and so as the lord jesus christ of nazareth took the bread he blessed it and broke it he gave it to the disciples and he said eat this is my body broken for you as often as you eat of it you do it in remembrance of me eat ye all of it in faith in jesus name Mm. <laughs> hallelujah bless the lord and likewise he took the cup he took a, he took a, he blessed it and took a sup and he said drink this is my blood the blood of the new covenant as often as you drink of it you do it in remembrance of me drink ye all of it in faith in jesus name Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. To God be the glory, to God be the glory, to God be the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you even to the detractors um, who Satan has sent to, 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 um, to make declarations and decree on, um, on one of the platforms. Hallelujah. You, you, you know that God is moving when Satan gets so stirred up that he has he, he has sent his emissaries to try to distract to delay derail or deny that which is happening and so people guys on tiktok don't 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 pay satan any mind please i beg you don't be distracted by what he's doing and what he's saying or or, or in this case she is doing or saying please stay focused on god the winds and the waves will always come as distraction but stay focused on Jesus Christ of Nazareth because when the name of Jesus begins to go forward, the, the enemies will come to try to shut him down. But if the princes of this world had known, they would not have crucified Christ. So please, I beg you, guys on TikTok, don't be distracted by Lucifer or Lucifer's agent, um, witches and warlocks. Don't be distracted by them. Just stay focused on Jesus. Keep your eyes on him and you will not sink. And don't take a wink or a blink. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Glory to God. Raise your hands for the blessing. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Go forth, family, and have an amazing day. God's way. For our God has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day. His way. In Jesus' name. Remember, Jesus love you and we love the whole Iona too. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. And um and, and and you lady on TikTok, I just want to say to you, Jesus loves you, man. He's gonna encounter you. You think that the preaching of the gospel is foolishness, you think that Santa Claus is more believable than Jesus. Jesus is going to come into your space, he's gonna encounter you, and you are gonna come back and testify that Jesus Christ is real. You're going to come back and testify. Right now, you're under the influence of Lucifer. That's not your fault. But Jesus Christ is going to encounter you and you're going to be a voice for him wherever you go, just like you're a voice for Lucifer now. God bless you. We love you. We mean you no harm. We only mean for you to meet our Lord and Savior. Because when you have met him, you'll know that he is real. 
we have met him hallelujah we have vet him hey <laughs> and now we're willing to sweat for him amen so that will happen to you one day we pray it so in jesus name on behalf of pastor Marsha wade and ruan wade saying have a great day guys and remember to do something good for someone today pray for someone pray for this person who is on tiktok um uh, uh, berating and pretending as if they truly are the author and finisher of what is truth and what is life in this world it's it's a sad thing when persons think which from the place of pride that they are the one that know truth and God doesn't know truth. So we pray for them. We don't get upset. We don't get frustrated. We don't get annoyed. We don't curse them. We pray for them. So that's one of the good deeds that I want you to do today. That, that, that contending voice on TikTok. Pray, Lord, find her, visit her, minister to her, and do good for her. That you might do good through her in Jesus' name. But remember, do something for someone. Hallelujah. Yes, Sister Sean, pray for them. Do good for someone today. Encourage someone and just lift up someone in prayer. As some of you are still on, let me just take a minute and tell you, yesterday a mighty man of God called me, hallelujah, from overseas. And we were just talking and he said he got some bad news. And the news really shook him. Um, you know, he, 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 he made a covenant with God this year that he was going to just get closer to God, spend more time with God and do um, some great things. And he began to see with excitement uh, the, the move of God operating in his life and, um, and the upgrade that God did for him. And then he got some bad news in the natural and he was just feeling a little under the weather and down yesterday, a little depressed. And as we spoke, hallelujah, I, I, I was pointing out to him that when 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 god comes uh the enemy is gonna come too the enemy is gonna try and distract you and it just depends on which vantage point you look from the waves were there but peter had a chance to either look at jesus or look at the waves he looked at the waves for a moment and became fearful and depressed and he started to sink what are you looking at man of god is jesus still there is he on the water are your eyes focused on him because the winds and the waves will come they must come Satan has to do his job. But will you keep your eyes on Jesus and you will see your way clear? Keep your eyes on Jesus, people of God. He was encouraged. He got excited, got back on the horse and began to ride to the purpose and destiny that God called him to ride to. It's the same for us. Keep your eyes on Jesus. The winds and the waves will come. Don't think that because you are looking at God that the, the, the distractions won't come. They will come. But don't focus on them. Focus on God. Amen. God bless you. Love you all. Have a great one. Be blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.